The gamer gods themselves shined upon us all yesterday. What a surprise that the beta for Marvel's Avengers will be dropping sooner than initially slated. Me, who, well, somehow got a code thankfully to a friend. Small plug, go check out his YouTube channel, link down in the description. Without him, I would not be able to make this video and honestly a lot more. So be sure to check him out and subscribe because he is uh, so close to 200. So go on. Anyway. I wasn't too keen on this game since, well, the first ever gameplay we saw of the game looked mediocre and some of the character models looked very odd. But obviously that was a super early build and over time Square Enix decided to release more and more info on the game which slowly made me more interested in the game. So since the release of the beta I got a good few hours put into the game, like a lot. So I have a few issues that I came across in the campaign side of things and only a minor few issues in the actual multiplayer side of things. Also do bear in mind some of these will be very picky so I apologize but that's what a beta is made for so people can help out the actual game company uh, point out some issues that there are. I doubt that Square Enix will watch this video but who knows maybe other people that watch this video will spread the word and maybe they'll notice these. But there's also some big parts that must be changed in some ways in my opinion so I will also talk about them firstly starting off with them. So the first thing is at the very beginning when you have to first go up against the taskmaster as Black Widow. I found one part extremely boring and time consuming, specifically the part where you're on top of a bridge and have to dodge like 50 or, or even more attacks from the taskmaster and at the same time you have to shoot him. Now I don't mind the multitasking of this part, it's definitely challenging to not get hit by him and also try to hit him yourself but it took way too long. I don't know if it's my aim or his health or just my weapon damage but for some odd reason it took me at least five minutes to get to the next part which you might go oh that's not that bad it's only five minutes well go sit in like a room by yourself in silence for five minutes and see how long that is when you're not really having fun since you have to do the same thing repeatedly and I know you won't be doing that same thing repeatedly if you sit in a room by yourself because you're kind of like sitting in silence but I guess that's something the rest of the fight with the taskmaster was okay it was more of smash your controller until you deal more damage to where you can unlock a grapple to deal more damage and yes I know that's how all boss fights are like but even on normal it felt a bit too easy until the next part that I want to talk about but in general, that's about it for the Taskmaster part. It was pretty good. I enjoyed definitely fighting him. Some of the stuff that they were talking about was interesting. And it was a bit tense, even though I kind of already knew what was going to happen perfectly. Still pretty good part. In general, the first mission was fun going through all of the characters changing to them and progressively you know going to Captain America which is personally my favorite and I can't wait I hope he'll be in the actual multiplayer in the full game I kind of know story info so I won't spoil it <coughs> now this next bit this is the worst part so in the second mission of the campaign where you play as Hulk raging through an aim building you have to climb your way up to Kamala or Miss Marvel now Personally, this mission is one of my favorites. The fact that you can play as Hulk and just crush everything in your path is really fun. And in my opinion, Square Enix, you did a great job with Hulk in this game. A great job with every character. I mainly use Hulk in multiplayer side of things. And honestly, he's just great fun. You know what's not fun in this mission? The freaking difficulty. Now, I played this part first on normal which was quite easy until obviously I progressed to the part of climbing through the building. I once again don't know if it's me being bad or if it's the amount of enemies there are or if it's just the amount of health they had. I genuinely had to attempt this about six to seven times even after changing to an easier version of it for just a second to see the difficulty. It was even difficult and easy. If somehow someone is actually watching from Square Enix you definitely need to rework this part of the mission. Either decrease the amount of enemies that show up or definitely decrease the amount of health they have. I do also realize that Square Enix might be going for a Dark Souls type of game and if so, that's great. A bit of a challenge. It's just that this specific part compared for example to the first and third mission is very different. The first mission was quite easy, second mission easy until that part and then third mission which is more online but it was still easier. I don't know if it was just because that specific part is an issue 
and I feel like maybe Square Enix made us play these specific missions to see if they could get feedback on them, maybe they're not very sure about them. And if that's the case, well then that's great, because hopefully they change it up and improve upon it with the actual full game releases. But that's all I have for this part, as I don't want to brag on for any more and bore you out of your mind. This next one is very minor and you might consider me nitpicking, but I myself am slightly deaf. Now, I'm not really, but I can't hear very well when I'm playing a game or even watching movies, so I like to have subtitles on that help me double check some of the things I might have missed when they were talking. And well, some of the subtitles in Marvel's Avengers are either very delayed or they overstayed their welcome. Or even some show things that weren't said yet, which kinda annoyed me at times, and I hope Square Enix changes that for the full game. For example, there was a part where Bruce Banner was talking to Miss Marvel, and he said something, and then there was a pause, but all they added was dot dot dot, and then the part, but it took him a while until to say it. Now this is very small, again, me nitpicking, I prefer when games kind of end off, instead of having dot dot dot, you wait, and then you have another subtitle. Now this might be to save some time, you know, to not have too much kind of work to do and fair enough it's just you know i kind of don't want to hear that i'll finish you turn off your subtitles no no thank you now this next part is mainly for the multiplayer side well maybe this has something to do with my second point where i talked about hulk being absolutely destroyed in that mission because for some odd reason when i play as hulk in war table missions or whatever you call them i am always mainly the target i know i'm a big green dude that is smashing everything but damn I can't even do anything at times. I even play with my friend who usually mains Iron Man and well maybe it's cause he's flying all the time and he barely goes down but it's just very annoying. You might go oh Felix you're just bad. Well I decided to myself go and play a different hero and see if my Hulk in my private game would lose any health. And guess what? He was the main target again. And I feel like again this might be because you know the big green dude running around let's take him down first. But it feels weird when you play as Hulk and you can't really do anything because you're being aim botted by actual aim bots like AI. Now that can probably again be easily changed and it's great that they released this beta because again it's letting us notice all these issues that hopefully Square Enix can change for the full game to have a better experience when you have to pay a lot of money you know 70 euro 70 dollars i don't know how much it is in dollars but 70 euro it's a lot of money and i know i said five things that need to be changed but um well i can't really think of like one full one for the last one so for this one i'm going to kind of smash in all of the little things that i had and issues here and there for example my game crashed a few times i know that's not a really big one since it is a beta and usually my games on playstation crash a lot of people's games crash so this isn't anything new but obviously it can be easily probably changed and patched up in the full game. Actually a funny thing that happened to me was where I got down on top of a big robot tank thingy, I don't know what they're called, which prohibited my friend from reviving me since for him I was somehow teleported out of the mission. But thankfully I ended up falling down off and I somehow appeared for him and I got that sexy revive. Now there's some small issues and bugs like I guess a dude being stuck and not moving nor dealing damage or even Hulk holding air until he decides to bash that air onto an enemy which spawns a freaking boulder. Or well there was an instance where I was invisible for my friend. Aside from that, honestly, this is a really fun game. Now, I know there's a bit of a controversy going around that this game is exclusive with its Spider-Man only for PS4 and I guess people on PC and Xbox are missing out which really sucks and I feel that's very unfair but it's a really good game aside from that. I'm very surprised by it as I didn't expect much from it and well let's hope that this is going to lead into an actually great game unlike <coughs> <laughs> other betas. I'ma go play some more, progress through the battle pass and try to unlock all those cool skins for Hulk and other characters. Hope you guys agree with me and maybe you have some of your own issues that you wanna say. If you have any, then go ahead, drop them down in the comments, I'll be sure to check them out and see what's your issues. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We are insanely close to 5,000 subscribers and it's just amazing and insane, thank you all. And um, well, like the video I guess. Oh and again, be sure to go check out my friend's YouTube channel, I know I've already plugged him once, but I just really want to help him out since recently he has been having a few issues with his YouTube channel. But without further ado, 